Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and uh, we're moving on over from the Army Cat over to the older uh, Auto Patrol 11. And I'm gonna start. All right, I'll see if we can beat that damn tire off of there. Kind of sounds like it's... Uh... Making a little, uh, get these off. Oh, those, uh, wedges. this way. It's coming, eh? Yeah. Maybe I'll get that crowbar back here. Might be able to pry it away. Well, I'm just about out of jack. Yeah. Oh, no, there it comes. I think we got it on the run there, Phil. Yeah. Let her this letter go where it wants. Just like that. There she goes. There. That's a bit of a workout, but that's off of there. This here is the tire that I'm gonna put on. I picked it up for 50 bucks out of a friend's place of mine there, and, and he said I could have it for 50 bucks yeah I think it's gonna be well worth it but anyway let's get started
I'm gonna puff the dust that's off of there. Step one. Be able to pass that tube, and it's uh, too damn old, it's rotten anyway, so it's garbage. I got a brand new one coming, I just wanted to find out where the hole was just out of curiosity. Now we'll move on over and uh, get that uh, rim out of that tire. There's one cut. Now we'll turn it over and cut the other side. Hopefully we can get that damn thing out of there. She doesn't want them. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, I'm sure she will. Alright. We'll just stand over to more of the side there, Phil. Yeah.
move bark and come away. There. One cut and uh, comes right out. Way easier than try to bark. But now we got uh, quite a bit of damage to repair. I'm just gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll just uh, bring the focus out. This here is the damaged side of the rim. So I think the uh, cut and torch pipe wrench and uh, crescent wrench and tap her with a hammer. And I think we can uh, get her straightened out. So it'll hold that other tire. Coming with the uh, ball peen, so I'm going to get the torch on it and just heat up small areas at a time and beat her into submission. Okay, I think it looks uh, like it's going to accept a tire. Don't want to get the close up too much there. You'll see how bad it really is, but it's uh, it's going to hold a bead anyway for all our intents and purposes. Just to uh, make things work till we find better rims. Maybe we'll let her cool down and 
maybe mount it up back on the grader to push that other tire on there, get the one side till we get the tube. We're down at the uh, old grader here right now. I'm going to try to mount that uh, rim that we straightened up onto that hub, but it has two studs that are uh, actually broken. I don't know if I can uh, break them loose with just uh, giving them a good tap on the face here and use this pipe wrench. I might end up uh, bringing back my uh, torch. Like I always like to say sometimes, we got it on the run. This one is coming out. There's that one. That was a miracle that came out. So if we can't get this one out, at least it can get a new stud in here and miss a spot and have a alternating instead of just two in a row. There's two. That's getting pretty lucky. Got two out. I would think. Yeah, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. There we go. There, our wheel is on. Still missing these two, plus I'm missing the wedges for the blocks, but uh, we'll make that happen at a later time. I got it. Just gotta get past the fork. There we go. Now, what do you think our best plan of attack is? Over the top. Probably. That's on uh, the wrong way, anyway, isn't it? No. Uh, driving forward. Okay. Yeah. I think that one you're leaning on is backwards. backwards. Okay. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Now, did you bring the hammer? I think I've seen that. Yeah. Short bar, I think. Nope. 
this ain't gonna work out good. I'm gonna need more height. Okay? You're gonna need a tire. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we've come as far as we're gonna go today, that's for sure. And then uh, didn't have the camera going for most of this because it was just taking so damn long and we didn't know what we we're doing and we didn't have the right bars or anything like that. But uh, the way we got that on there successfully, start the bottom, get that in and then uh, let her jack down so she's close to the ground and uh, that pushed the top over and uh, with the right amount of sledgehammering and bars and uh, so on and so forth we got that uh, first bead on there now we're just waiting for the tube as always when you're working with this cat shit it ain't easy it's either rusted or been not used for 30 years and it's stiff as hell and rusty and uh, you name it but this tire is on the first bead and uh, I'm just going to get my tube we'll jack it back up get that tube in place and then, of course, this is parked about uh, 200 feet away from the power source. So compressing, getting the compressor down here to top it up with air is going to be another event. But it's all we're going to do for today. So thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, coming along with, with us. And uh, we'll catch up to you later.